Hello and welcome back to American Truck Sim. We are here in the West. Wait, we're in a Western Star. What's going on here? Well, this isn't really a Western Star. But let me tell you how we ended up in this truck. So I woke up this morning and it turns out the Fleet Star, well, it exploded. It's gone. No more Fleet Star. But half good news, I towed it over to the repair shop and it's getting fixed up. So we'll just have to wait a little bit. It's going to take a while. They got to do a lot of work to it. But that's in the future. That's going to happen. And today, we're in this ugly international. It looks literally like a garbage can. Uh, yeah. But uh, it's got it's got a little bit of character. I do actually kind of fancy the old girl. So let's get moving. I've got a job for us. It's not the longest trip in the world. But it should be a fun one. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. Let me get my headlights on. Wait, do I have my headlights on? I think those are on. Let's go. Now the load we're picking up is just right down the road here. Sorry about that. All right. Anyway, though. I was trying to remember what my wipers were. All right, there we go. Couldn't remember exactly where the switch for him was. We're going to need a little bit more wiper. So I believe the pickup is just right down here kind of where we dropped off that last load. Maybe at the same exact spot, actually. Now that I'm seeing where we're at. That was definitely not the right gear. Okay, where is this? Cruise on down here. I think we're looking for a load of cattle that came in on the train. Should just be right up here somewhere. Uh. Okay, it's... It's not over here. Where the heck is it? Let me check my map. Oh, it's so hard to see. Guys, I don't know where this... Uh Oh, there it is. Never mind. I found it. Who's hiding behind this blue bin? We got it, though. Don't worry. We got it. No cow left behind. So, yeah, we got some cattle. We're going to be taking them to a farm.
I believe it's in Colville. Man, I cannot see my mirror. If I zoom in, I can't see Jack. All right. Well, just got to work with what we got here. Oh, I don't think I'm over enough. Oh, I got lucky. I got lucky. All right. Let's hop out in the rain. Take a look. There's those little guys in there. Kind of see them. Man, that's a good looking truck, huh? What a hunk of junk. All right, let's uh let's hook her up and get moving. There we go. This will just circle around. It should be pretty easy to get out of the city here. I think we're pretty close to the highway. And I believe we're going to... Oh, ride down the tracks here, maybe? Kind of? Next to the tracks. All right. That's fair. Oh. Seems like that rain is... Dying down a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that is in front of us, but I don't like it one bit. Here we go. I think we have the green light there. I don't know. That's kind of a weird intersection. If you're asking me. There we go. On to the freeway. We're moving. We are hauling cattle. Heading towards Spokane, it looks like. Yep, that seems like the case. I really like that digital speedometer down there. Guess we don't really need it, but uh oh. But it's nice if I just glance down real quick. Even though I don't really care about speed all that much. Holy heck, look at this bridge. Is this real life? Who in the world designed that? All right. I'm not going to ask too many questions. Interesting situation. Anyway, let's uh, head towards Spokane here. Get in high gear so we can cruise a little faster. Even though we're already speeding, that's okay. You know how we do. It 
Seems like this truck tops out at about 65. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh that's gonna be an issue. I think. I could probably get some more revs out of it though. I'm a little nervous to put it in 7, but let's see how 7 is. Yeah. But I do think this gets up towards... Mm, let's say like 23,000 RPMs if I was to guess, but I don't know. It might only get 20. I think we're going uphill a little bit too. So I could be wrong, because we are slowing down a little bit. Oh yeah, we're definitely going up now. Climbing into the mountains. Dang, I might need a lower gear than this. Nah, we should be fine. This is a pretty good sounding truck. It's a little bit dull, but... I don't mind too much. Oh, let me get back an eight here. Man, look at the scenery. Pretty good. At this point, I don't really know when they want me in the way stations or not. It says open. They're beeping me. I guess we'll pull in, but I don't really know if they want us. I don't think they want us. Well, we gave it a go. Can't say we didn't try. Turned out to be a really nice day, huh? Started out pouring. But yeah, it's dried out quite a bit. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Yeah, we could definitely use a few more MPHs out of the old girl, but I guess what can you do for a loner? We're lucky they had anything to give us. Kind of in a pinch after the Freightliner blew up and wasn't a whole lot of options available. So we're pretty happy we're still pulling loads here. Guess we shouldn't be complaining too much. All right, one mile to Yakima. I think we're heading right through, yep. That's a pretty cool Exxon tanker there. Yeah, we're just going east towards Spokane. Why with me?
Oh. Okay, I was zipping all around. So Spokane's about 166 miles. I believe Colville's just on the other side of Spokane, so... That's why I'm keeping an eye out on that city in particular. Let's get some engine brake going. Ooh, into a really cool bridge. Let's see if we can go outside for this. Check it out a bit. You ready? Here we go. Get a low profile here as we cruise under the bridge. Those cows don't seem to be making too much of a ruckus. I'd like to move over if I can. There we go. Scenic view. That probably is a very scenic view. I'm surprised there's no viewpoint there. As a designated beauty spot and all. Man, look at the clouds as we climb up here. They look great. We actually have enough speed to go around. Well, I kind of lost it right there. We're getting it again. Come on, bud. Come on through. Oh, there's another guy behind him, too. I better slow my roll. Oh, come on now. Man, traffic. Killing me. All right, here we go. It's funny, even at such a slow speed. I know we're going five over, but... We're usually going 75, 80. So we've lost a bit of pace with this truck. But we're still making pretty good time, really. As long as we can get through the traffic without any issues. Now, I wonder what time it is. Is there a... Uh clock down there on my little computer. Ooh, look at this area. Hang on, I'm going to shift through this computer a little bit. What do we got there? We got fuel, it looks like. Oh, it's so small, it's hard to see. Let me zoom in and try not to crash. Oh boy, that's... We're not going to do that. 7? I don't know what that is. What does that counter below? Does that say 293? No idea. My gauges. Don't know what that is. I'm not paying attention to the road very much at all here. Our transmission oil's good. Averaging... Mm. Five and a quarter-ish. MPHs, that's pretty good. Is it? I don't know. I don't know, I can't really tell. Is that the clock below the speed? Probably. I'll have to keep an eye of it. 
I'll have to keep an eye on that. 312 at the moment. I'm guessing that's the time. Anyway, enough of that talk. Where are we here? Uh, Ritzville. Ooh, I could not pronounce that other town. Wematonia? I think it said. I'm not really sure about that, but... That's a really cool shell station right there. With the big old signs. You see that? That was really cool. I'm loving the real world gas stations and companies and such. Really spices up your world. I can't believe we went so long without them. What is this over here? It looks like a prehistoric land. It's like a... What do you call that thing where the where the dinosaurs are in like Los Angeles? A tar pit. It doesn't necessarily look like a tar pit, but it, it's reminding me of a tar pit. With the demolition man hopping out of there. This is quite the state. I would not mind checking out the Pacific Northwest someday. This beautiful land. All right. Oh, Spokane Airport coming up. We must be getting pretty close. Like I said, I think we're going through Spokane. We will have to keep an eye out. The trip computer's still got us going. Oh, hang on. I think it wants us to get over now. So we'll... Yep, we'll do that. There we go. We'll just hang out here. Oh, here we go. Here's Spokane. Let's see what this is all about. Sign for Colville. That's a good sign. Crap, we're getting off here. Can I get off? Yes, I can. Wonder why the GPS led me astray right there. It had me in the middle lane. Oh well, we made it. I thought that Mustang was going to be there for sure. I don't know where he got off to. I guess we could have just run him over and he's like under our truck at this point. Always a possibility. Wait, is that him behind us? I think it is. Oh boy, long trailer. On the curb. A little bit of curb dusting. Didn't hurt anyone. Oh, man, look at that log truck. Where do I get one of those? I was searching high and low for a log load. I could just not find one. Guess I'll just have to keep my eyes peeled. They're clearly out there. Ah, oh, red light. Oh boy, roll back on a hill here. Oh, look at that. There's a Claire's. 
That's fun. Am I seeing our delivery point up there? I'm seeing a little bit of flashing on the GPS there. I guess we'll see as we get closer. But I'm thinking that's the case. Could be wrong. Oh, here's a Volvo dealership. Ooh, look at this. Hang on. Like House on Haunted Hill up there. Let's see if I can check that out for you guys. Oh, it's a little hard to see. Like an old German hotel or something. Not German, but what's that style like? Hansely and Gretely? You know what I'm talking about. Dutch? I don't I don't know. I don't know. My brain hurts. Come on, let's get this light. There we go. I'm still seeing that circle, but it's super far out from where we just were. Thought we were getting closer to it. Oh boy. Coming on. Ooh. We just got into the outskirts real quick. Oh, hang on. We're turning up here. Okay. I hear you. Oh, a ranch. Double lane ranch. Heck yeah. Look at this, guys. This is cool. Wow, this is... This is cooler than I even thought it was when I just said this is cool. Look at all those cows. Boys, you are going home. Hopefully this isn't a meat ranch. Ooh. Ooh. Now I'm concerned for my buddies. Man, this road is bouncy. Hey guys. Let me get my window down so I can yell at them. Hey bud. What's up? How you doing? Got some friends for you in the back. Woo. All right. Look at this road. Hands off the wheel right now. Oh, and hit a rock. It is bouncy as heck. That's real cool. All right, looks like the delivery point is right up here. Oh, look at this. Huh. Oh boy, this looks bumpy. Oh yeah. Hey bud. Probably put that window down over there. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh boy. My god, this is quite... Quite a chore getting in here. Man, that is just stunningly beautiful. 
These are some lucky cows. Where's the delivery point? Right there? Okay. This is quite a farm. This is bigger than anything we've come across so far. We've got trucks all over the place. Look at all those trucks down there. That one's going to Walberts. Huh. Alright, we're here. Let us get backing up. Man, I cannot see out of those mirrors that well. Can't really tell the angle I'm supposed to come in at. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, beautiful. This might be the best park of our career. Just gotta figure out when we're in the spot. Oh, there we go. Top out. Ooh, what a parking job. Oh no. Are they going right into the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's devastating. Well, let's give them their livestock. Nice. Well, that was a pretty easy delivery. I think we did a good job. We didn't make too much money. 16.5. That's okay. I mean, it didn't take us very long at all. Almost level 19. That's cool. Oh, I should have checked out the jobs available from here. That's all right. Let's take a quick look at Yvonne, see how she's doing. We haven't checked in on her. Okay, she's leveling up a little bit. We got her on long distance now as of, I believe, the last vlog. Let's check out her log here. Okay, she's starting to pick up some good money, actually. I don't know what this job was about. Reservoir tank, that's kind of a letdown, but whatever. You can't win them all. That's quite a difference. I'm almost at 50 bucks a mile average. He's at 750, so quite a difference. Well, that's really cool. Um a couple words about the truck. I Kind of love it, actually. That was a nice, smooth drive. Oops. The interior is pretty cool. Not too bad. It's a little old-fashioned. But, you know, we got a bed back there. Can't complain too much. I do like it. I do like it a lot. Pop back outside. Anyway... I think this is going to be a pretty short one. I had to put in a lot of work when I realized the, the freight liner was blown up, so I don't have as much time as I would like to have right now. But we're going to come right back with another job. I don't know. I'm going to really... Listen, I promise I'm going to find a logging job for the next one. So that's happening. Yeah, we'll make that happen. But yeah, 
Thank you so, so much for joining me. I appreciate the heck out of it. I know I've been a little bit behind on videos, and I am sorry about that. Hopefully things are going to pick up. So hold on to your butts, as they say. And we'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your day or night. Talk to you later. Ooh, that's embarrassing.